Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with you with another investing, stock investing video, financial video here for you. Um, look, it looks like we have a red day in the market today, um, down 1.5%. And we have some pretty interesting things going on. You know, Facebook is up again here, up 7% today, 30% overall. And I have a crazy amount of stocks here, as you guys can see. Um, a little bit and everything, but it looks like overall the stock market is just down as well. Now, guys, what I do want to talk about is some stocks I picked up here today while the stock market was red. Um, overall, you see, of 30 per three months, I'm up 45 percent here, so I have some pretty good picks for you guys. Um, let's go over some and see what's worth picking up and what's not. Now, Bank of America is the first one we're going to talk about. Warren Buffett, I don't know if you guys saw this, Warren Buffett just picked up $1.7 billion worth of Bank of America stock. So if the best investor of all time is picking up this stock, I think it's an easy choice to get into right now. You'll see like the most recent, you know, realistic low was about $20 a share. We're at 24 so we're still at a really good opportunity right now. Um... And you'll even see as a dividend of 2.8. What else was looks good here? So you'll see right there, Buffett pur purchased at least $1.7 billion Bank of America this month. That's absolutely ridiculous, guys. He's the, one of the best investors of all time, if not the best. So this is a good stock. I picked up $248 worth of the value today in the stock market too. All right, guys, the next one that got hit pretty hard today was Win. It's been a good buy for a while now, and it just got hit hard again. So 5% down today. I would say this one is a buy right now, guys. We're at, looking at a, pretty much an all-time low of like $48, $50 a share. We're at $72 right now. This stock can easily go back to 100 as so much value behind it. All right, guys, the next one we have to talk about here is Kohl's. It's only down 2% today, approximately. But if you look in the last week, it's down almost 9% in the last week and about 7% in the last month. So this is a good time to pick up Kohl's, it looks like. This is a good stock. You know, it's it was up at, you know, just a year ago, it was at $50 a share. Now it's all, the dividend is around 13% on this one. And I think we can see this stock easily at 25 30 dollars a share again all right guys one of the last ones we're going to talk about real quick here we have intel ticker symbol intc you can see it's almost down one percent today which is nothing serious but in the last week we're down 6.5 the last month we're down 18 percent which is a huge opportunity on 18 percent last three months you know it's gone down like 30 percent um, but if you look at this graph here, it looks like it is following the same thing for a while. So how many hard stops do we see at about $45? One, two, three, four, five, and then this is going to be the sixth one here, guys. So I think this is a pretty good buy, a unique opportunity right now that we can easily get up to we'll say about $55 a share, which is a t about, how much gain is that? It's like a, I would say like a 30% gain in the next probably, if you buy now on Intel, you could probably get a 30% gain within the next three to four months. So that is an awesome opportunity. Intel is a good, good company too. Um, they're one of the, actually the biggest, and you can actually see right here, the semiconductor short Intel emerges as a symbol of big tech decline. You know, so there's a lot of different things going on with this company. A lot of people are saying buy, hold. Intel is one of the largest semiconductor companies in the world and holds the lion's shares of the PC and server processor markets. So why would you not want to invest in that? The fair valuation you can even see here is $70, which is absolutely bonkers. And what else do we got? I've been buying Intel for a long time. As you guys can see, first started buying at $44 a share. 
So, you know, this is a good one, guys. This is definitely a good pickup right now. We can get in at about a 30% gain in profits over the next three months. Some people don't even make that kind of return in two years of investing in the stock market. So this is a good one, guys. All right, guys, the last one we're going to talk about today is going to be Coca-Cola. And you can see the graph right here. One, two, three. So I would wait for the stock to go down to like $44 a share if you're really that concerned, $43 a share. But it's going to easily pop way back up to 52 we're going to easily see 55 52 and if you even hold it long enough i guarantee you will see new all-time highs with coca-cola uh, this is another really big company their dividends about three percent pe ratio is 22 which is actually pretty good um, and then you see nobody's even saying to sell this right now by volume coke is almost three times the size of its next largest competition we all know how big coke is though so we don't have to read that fair evaluation they have at 54 which i would actually agree with that but i can even see it going to 60 as well um you see their their eps they're pretty on target and q2 with it q1 was a little bit behind but you know i'm sure we'll see it grow and let's keep seeing all right guys so that concludes that video if you guys want to get a 45 percent increase in the past three months just like me, you see right here, 2400 in profits. And that's only one of my accounts. I also have a Webull account that I'm up like another 30 something percent on. Um, so I'll show you that guy. I think it's on my profile. You guys can probably find it in a previous video as well. Um, but go ahead and just all you I'm asking is just subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, drop a thumbs up if you learned something, leave a comment. There's no, you know, I'm not asking you guys to pay for anything or anything like that too. So I'm not asking you guys to pay for anything. Just go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. It goes a long way for me here. All right, till next time, guys. It's been Alec.